hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is vlogmas day 13 and i just got home from work it's like 5 30 right now okay guys so um i just got done watching the jacqueline hill video that she uploaded where she met her five subscribers and they went to go to wall well what the fuck they went to the morphe store in tampa and they got 90 seconds to grab whatever they wanted and they got it for free watching the video like i was getting anxiety like not anxiety but i was just like freaking out i'm like oh my god like it was like i got to meet her like i experienced it and like i don't know i'm just crazy i guess but i wanted to cry because it was just seeing them like so happy like that like that would totally be me like they just oh my god they're so lucky and congrats to you guys like oh my god like so crazy all right guys so i probably look a little gross this lighting really brings out all of your uh, flaws and imperfections so if i look scary that's why and i have no makeup on so yeah i didn't want to just do a boring video so this should be a good video i mean it's really interesting this is going to be my like must have drugstore products um i have a lot of drugstore products I'm sure you guys already know this, but I love drugstore products. I think high-end stuff, some of it's overrated. Some of it is, you know, it's pretty, pretty good for the price. Some I just think, like, I don't know. Drugstore is just kind of my thing, okay? Um, but sometimes I do splurge on certain items, you know, so. Yeah, um, so I'm going to share with you my, like, must-have drugstore products. Um... In case you guys are wondering, like, what new makeup products you should try, you know, things like that. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'll just start with, like, the order I do my face. So, I'll start with eyeshadow first. And I'm going to talk about a couple. Um, these are the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. These here. These are only $5. And I actually have these three. This here is Not A Basic Peach. And this is the Rosé in the Air. And this is my Glamour Squad. So, these retail for $5 each. And I think they are a really, really, really good deal. I mean, you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's not bad. You get 10 eyeshadows in here for 5 bucks, And the pigment on these is just mind-blowing as fuck, okay? Like, I cannot believe this is $5. And it's wet and wild. Like... Wet n Wild, to me, is one of the best brands in drugstore. Like, it's just amazing. So, if you are looking for a really good, small, on-the-go eyeshadow palette, or you like the color stories of these, they are only $5, which is a steal. Next product I want to talk about is the Profusion Cosmetics Sienna's Palette. This here retails for $10, but you can order this stuff off Profusion cosmetics.com if you can't find it at your target but this palette i've actually seen this at tj maxx for like six bucks and i mean it's really good like look at the color story on here and the pigment okay uh i did swatch some of these well i swatched this palette in my last video i believe so if you want to know how well those swatched then go watch that below. but let me just swatch this this yellow shade right here like look at that like, it is so freaking pigmented. And this is a $10 palette. Or you can get it for, like, 7 bucks at TJ Maxx or, you know, wherever. This is amazing, okay? Like, this is the perfect fall palette, in my opinion. And very good for your neutral lovers. So, if you have the $10, highly recommend this. Next up, I'm going to talk about mascaras. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous voluminous i always say that l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara this here uh i freaking love this like this has been my go-to mascara for the past two years i think okay let's just say this i've been using this since this launched so however long that's been i think it's been like two or three years maybe but i freaking love this stuff it's only 10 bucks this is just amazing this makes it look like i have on false eyelashes when it's just my natural lashes this just gives them that extra ump and they look so damn good and it's only ten dollars so get it <laughs> and then i'll go ahead and talk about my lower lash mascara 
This has been my go-to lower lash mascara. I still have yet to find a new favorite one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Sorry, my voice just cracked. That was awkward. But this is what it looks like. It's the purple tube, really skinny. And oh my God, this is like three bucks, I think. It is amazing. Like, look at the wand. Let me show you the wand, okay? That's the wand. Like, it is so perfect for the lower lash and to get the lashes, like, so close, you know? I freaking love it. And I think it was the Taylor that talked about this, and I tried it. I have three backups already. I'm obsessed. All right, so this here is my all-time favorite drugstore moisturizer. This is, like, six bucks, I believe. It's the Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. This here. I used to use this all the time, but I wanted to branch out and try some Clinique products. This stuff smells so good. Like, I used quite a bit. <laughs> like, it just smells so good. And you get a lot in here for like six bucks. Like, this will last you a good year, maybe even two years. Probably shouldn't keep a moisturizer that long. I don't know. But this stuff is amazing. All right. I have two primers, and they are both from Wet n Wild. I'm telling you, Wet n Wild kills it with some of these products. Okay. Like, I don't know how they do it, but they just do it, and I ain't complaining. So these are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primers. Okay, you have the matte, and then you have the dewy. Now, some days I like to go for a matte look. Like, if I use a foundation that I know sometimes, like, whenever I get oily, it's going to, like, separate and look bad, then I use this matte primer. Freaking love it. It leaves my skin matte, and it just looks so freaking good. Like, and these are only 5 bucks each. Oops. These are only $5 each, which is a still. Okay, like, I do recommend this if you have more oily skin this right here is gonna be your best friend then i have the dewy face primer if you just want that kind of like glow from within look and you don't want to put on any makeup or you know you're putting on a bb cream or something like that but you want to look glowy this here will give you that and it's not going to make you look greasy and gross you know what i'm talking about so this here it has this really nice like tint to it and it looks a little crazy coming out of the tube, but it looks so good on the skin. And I just, I love it. It really makes your skin glow without looking like a grease ball. All right, so next up, foundation. Okay. This foundation has been like my go-to. Like you already know, all I ever really use is drugstore foundation. But this here is, has been my favorite in the like here recently this is the covergirl true blend matte made foundation this here is only like eight bucks and i love this okay i heard a lot of people talking about it i was like i don't need any more foundations like i'm good I kept getting a lot more hyped up and i'm like you know what screw it it's eight bucks i'm gonna get it and try it because why not and i am in love <laughs> like this makes your skin look so nice and airbrushed and just flawless okay and it's gonna keep your skin matte and i pair these two together most of the time and it leaves my skin matte and just flawless and beautiful so this right here is a good duo all right so next up for concealer now you guys know like i used to always use my ulta beauty concealer i still use that but recently like a lot recently uh, I've been reaching for the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer, this here. This is like $7. It's No, it's like $9, I think. It's $7 or $9. I can't exactly remember. But this here, oh my god. This will give you that nice, glowy, like nice, perfect, smooth under eye. And I love this so damn much. Like, it smells good, which is, I know it's weird. But it smells good and fresh, and the applicator on here is so nice. Look at that. And I love the packaging, too. It's kind of different, and it's chic, and it's really cute. I rediscovered this, and oh, I forgot how good the shit was. This is, the Mega, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and this is the shade Dolce de Leche. I hope I said that right. And oh my god. The formula on here is so nice. They're so smooth and buttery, and it's just so freaking good. And for five bucks, like, that's a steal, okay? Oh my god, I almost dropped it. But that is a steal. You get a lot of product, which is even better, and I'm just in love with this. 
So next to set the face, um, I've been really in love with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And this is the shade 10 Fair Light, if you're wondering. But this here, I've heard a lot of people comparing this to the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier powder. And this is only five or six dollars, I believe. It is so freaking good. I've had this one for a while and I use a shit ton of powder. Like I wanna make sure my face is set and it ain't going nowhere. So I like cake this on, okay? And it's really, really good. It doesn't look cakey. Like it doesn't make my foundation look cakey. It just looks so nice and smooth on the skin. And I love that. So if you're looking for a good, cheap, press, press, loose powder, this here is awesome. So after I set my face, I go in with contour, and I use this contour palette as well. It's just, there's two of the shades in one, and I just, I go for it, so. Okay, so next up, I'm going to talk about brows, because I like to, I'm just going to talk about this, if I didn't say it. I'm talking about this in the way that I apply my makeup, like in the order I apply it. So, if it's all random and around everywhere, that's why. So, this here, this is another Wet n Wild product. I'm sorry, I just love me some good Wet n Wild cheap affordable products, okay? This is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This is the shade Medium Brown, in case you are wondering. This is like $3, and this is really nice. I've had this for a while, and I still have a sh ton of product left. Um, but yeah, it has this nice angled tip there. And then you also get the nice spoolie on the end. This is like a dupe for the Brow Wiz from ABH, I believe. Love this so freaking much. Really nice, creamy, easy to work with. I love it. All right, so next up is blush. Okay, this blush I'm going to mention, let me just say, okay, my sister who doesn't really wear blush because she has rosacea, I think she said, but her skin, like her face gets really red. She doesn't like to wear blush, so she doesn't really put it on. But I did her makeup one time, and I used this blush on her. She fell in love. So now I think anytime she does her makeup, she uses this blush. She even told me I needed to tell people about this because for those who are afraid of blush or just don't like blush, this she loves, okay? We both love, like, this gives you a nice glow, but like, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks really beautiful on the skin, and I'm, I'm in love with this. This is actually my first blush I ever owned. This got me into blushes, so yeah. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne. Look at how beautiful this color is. Let me just open the pan up for you. Look at how beautiful that is. I don't know if you can really see it. But it's so pretty and sheer, but it still adds a little bit, like a teeny tiny hint of color and not glitter, but some like shine. I don't know. But it has some specks of glitter in there, but don't let it scare you. It looks beautiful on the skin. So, all right, next up I would do setting spray, but I'm gonna save that for the last step just because I'm just going to. So next up is going to be highlights, highlighters. Okay, these highlighters here, I've used one of them like back to back, like I constantly reach for it, but these are the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlights, metallic highlights, I should say. I have these three shades. This is the shade 250. That was a collab, I guess a collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. You can find this at Ulta. I don't know if they still have it, but I freaking love this shade, it's beautiful. And then I have the shade 100 Molden Gold. This is like the perfect gold highlight and it's everything. Molden Rose Gold. This here is kind of out of the original color scheme for highlights, but it looks so stunning, like look at that. It's so beautiful and so blinding. Like it blends out so easily as well. Oh my God, look at that. I freaking love these highlighters. They are $10, which is a bit pricey, but you get a lot of products and the payoff is just freaking amazing. Let's talk about liner, like eyeliner. 
This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in 601 Sleek Onyx. Onyx? Yeah, sorry. This here I actually got in a little kit that I got from Ulta for spending $15 on Maybelline. And I tried this one time and I fell in love. Um, I haven't purchased the full size yet. Like, honey, if you're looking for a really good black eyeliner, this here, not sure how much the full size is, but it's going to be worth it. I can tell you that. I'm going to go ahead and talk about lip products real quick. I just have the one, but I have like 12 of these. These are one of my favorite drugstore liquid lips. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits. Liquid lipsticks. This is the shade Nudie Patootie if you are interested. Now, these are only $5 and the quality is so good. So freaking good. They feel like there's nothing on your lips and they last all day. You can eat, drink, whatever. They're going to still be there. But I have something better. Okay, this actually isn't sold in drugstores, but the price is drugstore. Okay, I just don't know what Shop Missy is. Here, here I go again with the shop and say shit. I'm sorry. I know it's probably annoying, but I just love me some good dollar shit. Okay. <laughs> so excuse me. I'm trying to help you guys save some money here. Okay. I don't actually have the lip color with me, but these are the AOA studio matte liquid lipsticks. This is your shade work it in case you are curious, but the shade fleek my all time favorite nude lipstick. If you've watched me for a while or you know me personally, the NYX Liquid Lingerie Lipstick in Corset, I think that's the same name. I can't even remember now. I don't even really reach for it anymore. I'm always reaching for my Shop Miss A one, my AOA Studio one. That was my all-time favorite nude liquid lipstick. Like, I had three of them, and I already went through two, I think. I'm almost, yeah, I'm on my last one, actually, I think. But that was my all-time favorite nude for like three years. Well, not three years, like maybe one or two years, I think. And then I discovered the AOA Studio Liquid Lips. And last but not least is setting spray. I do have a couple drugstore setting sprays, but I'm only going to mention the one. But I will say Wet n Wild has a really good one. It's like five bucks. But this here is the CoverGirl Look Lockup All Day Setting Mist. This here, okay, let me just show you the spray on this thing. Are you ready? I don't even know if you saw that, but like, look. I hope you saw that. But it smells like cucumbers, and I love it. It's so nice and refreshing, and it is good, okay? I actually got this for $4.99 at TJ Maxx, okay? I seen this, and it was like re fairly new, and I was like, why is this in TJ Maxx? But I picked it up, and I got it, and oh my god. It is so good. Like the mist for one is amazing. Oh, I just want to spray it on my face, but I don't have any makeup on my face. So it's just kind of like what the fuck. But this is amazing. I'm glad I picked this up to try it because now I'm like in love. This is one of my, well, this is like my top favorite drugstore setting spray. So if you see this, get it. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what items you'd like me to try that are from the drugstore or what are your favorite drugstore products. Like, comment below. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to try them out. And, yeah. Like, I'm always down to try new makeup. So, but just let me know. That is all I have for Vlogmas Day 13. Again, very sorry. It's not really a vlog. But, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. So I look gross. I just got home from work. Um, it's actually like one o'clock in the morning right now because I had a close tonight. That's why there's not really a vlog for today. So I'm sorry, Vlogmas Day 14 didn't really happen, but I just thought I'd let you guys know that. And yeah, so I'm sorry. But the other vlogs should be good. Um, I don't have to close anymore this week. So I think I'm opening like all next week hopefully but yeah sorry again there wasn't a vlog but just thought i'd let you guys know that so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in tomorrow's video which will be a vlog mistake 15 that should be interesting i'll probably do some cleaning or something fun kind of but yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye